I'm worried as well that I could make a decision to go back to Kiev to see my family because for me it's hard to be like uh, not alone but without a support of my family and without clear understanding what's going to be tomorrow. The whole this time um, like my soul was tearing into pieces into like l tiny little pieces just because because of uh, two things, first of all, I can understand the, the danger that uh, is like over my family right now. And uh, second of all, I could feel uh, really uh, bad guilt for being safe. When I arrived, my mind had some rest. And uh, in two days, I decided that um, it's dangerous for me to come back to my hometown because I have no place to stay in Ukraine somewhere else besides my hometown. and. Um, um, Russian literature started to bomb my hometown and uh, um, that's really um, painful for me because my parents are there. Uh, I have uh, my family members only in Crimea, uh, so uh, I cannot uh, keep in touch, like come to them physically and uh, uh, like uh, go home. So now it would be challenging for me to understand where to go after the conference. I told my mom that if, if something happens to them, I will come back and go to army and do whatever. Like, Because I don't care about my life if there something has happened to them. So this is time for me um, to contribute to my country, right? And this is a very, very time I can just do my utmost, you know, to uh, create uh, favorable, let's say, conditions for youth to come back and start rebuilding our country.